Hi parents and carers and future students of Wolfram Grammar School for Boys, I'm Sydney Sarpong. I'm the head boy of this school and this is our transition day video. This is our way to sort of quell your fears uh, coming into year 7 as it, I know it can be a very nerve wracking experience with very little knowledge of the school that you're about to attend for the next 5 years. Um, we've got year 7 to speak to you about his experiences and I'll briefly touch on mine. Hi Rohan, where do you enter school in the morning and where do you go? So when I come to school in the morning I enter through the gate next to the side road and I wait in the playground with my friends until it's 8.30 when it's time to go in for my first lesson. And what happens at the end of the day? Uh, at the end of the day um, when we get let out you can uh, go home straight away but you can also stay for after school clubs. What happens in registration? In registration you can play like fun games with your class you can watch videos and your form tutor can ask, uh, can answer any questions you have. You can also read and revise and do some homework. What happens at break time? At break time you can use your phone and play on your phone if you want. You can also buy food at that time and you can, just, you can play with tennis balls if you want and you can just speak to your friends. At uh, lunch time you can buy food from the canteen, you can buy food from the food cube. You can sit inside the canteen if you want, you can also um, sit outside, there's tables outside to sit on and you can also bring your packed lunch in if you don't want anything from school. What is the best time to arrive at school? Uh, best time to arrive at school is like 8.20, 8.25 because you want to be uh, ready for the first lesson. And the first lesson takes place the, when? The first lesson takes place at 8.30. I think for your sevens, the best time to arrive um, is a few minutes before their lesson so they can sit down, relax and sort of cool off and you can sort of speak to friends because if you're rushing into if you arrive on time you'll be rushing into lessons and that's not the best because you'll be uh, frantic and unorganized where do you put your bike if you cycle to school so if you cycle to school you would put your bike ne next to the gate on the side road um, because there's lots of spaces to put your bike what happens if you forget your homework if you forget your homework um, it's fine for like the first two, three times. Um, you may you get warnings, and then once you've had enough warnings, you'll probably get a detention. Uh, it varies from teacher to teacher um, and subject to subject, but I think most teachers are quite understanding, especially when you first join the school. So I wouldn't be anxious about that because um, it's normal for you not to always have your homework on you, or if you've left your bag somewhere. So I think teachers are quite accommodating for that. But I would insist that you make sure you get on top of it. You are given a planner at the start of the year, so you can put down all the homework that your teacher sets you. What would you say is your favourite Year 7 experience? My favourite Year 7 experience so far is probably the Enrichment Week. Um, the, the, uh, it's been really fun because people are coming in from outside of school and giving us like talks about different things. Uh, but obviously due to Covid we haven't done much um, before Enrichment Week. What are the main buildings in the school? Um, so the main areas of the school vary. I think one building of note is the library. Uh, in your break times or lunch times, you can go to the library and pick up a book which you can take home and read with you and break return. Uh, another important area of the school is the canteen. So at break time and lunch time, uh, they serve hot food, cold food, sandwiches, drinks. Um, and we also have a food cube, which is on the playground. It's just a little box um, where there's, uh, it's like another small canteen. Another important area of the school is the headmaster's office. Um, so this is located uh, inside the school main hall. It's just an uh, offshoot of that. Uh, that's where the headmaster does uh, all of his work. Uh, when you're called there, it can either be for good reasons or for, or for bad. But if you're called there for a good reason, it's normally to reward you for your hard work in the school term. Another important building is the STEM Centre. The STEM Centre is uh, one of our most modern buildings. It's uh, equipped with new departments, new uh, classrooms, the chairs, all the computers are all very new and modern. Um, so STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. Um, and so that is our main uh, modern educational centre. There's also a lecture hall on the top of that um, to accompany the St James's Theatre, which is another of our main lecture halls, which is um, is a, just a very big theatre room uh, which students get assemblies in there, sometimes house assemblies and also there's the main school hall which is um, where most of the old years have their lectures and sometimes in year seven as well you may have uh, an assembly in there as well. What did you feel like on your first day of year seven? 
My first day of year seven was it was quite enjoyable. We were sent to the Muse, which is our music department in Northwood Boys, and we were uh, put into the lecture hall and we were allocated to our different form groups. So form groups are like your sort of houses. It's 30 people who you'll be put into a house with and uh, you will have a lot of lessons with them, you will have registration with them and yeah. Um, I also really enjoyed the fact that on the first day I could play football with people and that's how I sort of made a lot of friends. What was your favourite subject in Year 7? I think my favourite um, subject at, in Year 7 was English. I think the teachers were really accommodating for the different skill levels in class and um, even though I struggled initially, I think with their help and guidance I, I went on to do very well. So what did you look forward to when you first started Year 7? I think what I first looked forward to was just a fresh start. Primary school, uh, I'd been at primary, the same primary school for about five years, so I think it was new people, new faces, new subjects, new teachers, it was just a good experience. I also looked forward to um, different sports that they played here because they didn't have rugby in my old school, they didn't have basketball that much in my old school, so I think um, just a fresh start was really what I was looking forward to. How did you make friends in your first year? I think um, most of my friends were in my form, but a lot of friends I also made from uh, playing sports. So because uh, I was on the rugby team and because I, was, um, I played football outside during my break times and lunch times, um, it, it was very easy for me to uh, meet new people and just friends came out of that. On your last day of year six, how did you feel when you were leaving? It obviously, it was, it was an emotional day because you've seen these people for a very long time, but um, I think. It's, it's a jump which you have to make, so I, wasn't, I, yeah, I sort of came to accept it, but um, yeah, it's, it's normal if you're feeling a bit sad that you're not seeing these people every day like you used to, but um, I felt optimistic for the next year coming, coming in my life.